Good day everyone! Today, we are going to discuss hyphonemes. Together, let's make learning English fun and easy. Categorizing words is a good strategy in increasing your vocabulary. Words may be classified based on their specific groups. These classifications will help you understand the common characteristics of certain items. In this lesson, you are expected to increase your vocabulary through hyphonemes. Study the examples below. Flowers Sampagita, Daisy, Rose, Gumamela, Kalachuchi. The words above are classified or grouped into one Sampagita, Daisy, Rose, Gumamela, and Kalachuchi form one group or classification. They are all categorized as flowers. Words may be classified or grouped based on the similarities of their characteristics. The categorization of these words is known as hyponyms. Let's try this. Using the table below, classify the words inside the box based on their respective groups or categories. Bangus is under the fish category. Quezon is a province. Laguna is a province. Fly is an insect. Tilapia is a fish. Batangas is a province. Moth is an insect. Bee is also an insect. Firefly is also an insect. Rizal is a province. Tuna is a fish. And Cavite is a province. Hyphonyms. Hyphonyms are the specific examples of a general word, group, or classification. Study the examples below. Colors Yellow Blue Red Green Pink The examples above shows that the general word, group, or classification is colors. Yellow, blue, red, green, and pink are the hyphonyms. Hyphonyms are the specific examples of a general word, group, or classification. Thank you for watching. Till our next English lesson, have a nice day.